Good evening, everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another stream. Tonight, I'm very excited to be starting out Bayonetta 3. Been a big fan of this series ever since the beginning, and I'm hoping this will be just as fun. As this is a fairly brand new game, and as it's just my thing normally, I am going into this blind. So please, no spoilers in the chat. Don't go talking about things we haven't seen yet because I don't want to have it ruined for me. All that being said, let's have some fun, shall we? Bayonetta. We're going in standard because I don't think I would be good enough for expert. We will not be turning on naive angel mode. That may change depending on what happens, but we'll see. Hey, headhunter, welcome back. Good to see you. Uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. How you doing, headhunter? You have a good weekend. When I was a kid, my father used to tell me something. There are no forks in the road of life. Bayonetta 3. You just walk along, feeling your way through the grass and leaving a faint path behind. But if you turn around to look, you may get the strange feeling you've walked that path before. Or that someone was walking along with you, lending you the strength to press on. In universes of light, dark and chaos, intertwining in untold layers. Stay safe when you walk I'd on your way home, right? I always believed there was only one truth. But... What if some other version of me, on a distant world, was searching for all possibilities? And what if, when all the possibilities were overlaid, the path that stood out the clearest was the real truth? Straight into the dragon. Okay. This is going to be a wild ride, I'm sure. Hey, no, the games always are. this guy able to do? I barely understood what you said, but for some reason, it really resonated with me. And every time I thought about it, I looked up at the sky and daydreamed. What if somewhere, some version of me was walking along through the grass just like me? Could we be following the same path, taking the same journey? That idea had its Oh, good, mate. Take your time. Do what you need to get unsafe. 
I appreciate you, man. After calling up, I still believed it could be true. I just knew that someday a version of my father from some other world would appear and pull out a strawberry cat just for me, always used to. But the visitor from another world that appeared to me was a nightmare oh, that had come to crush all hope. Like uh, number three, the one that just came out uh, about a week ago. So I am 100% going in blind to this, other than these first five minutes or so when I was doing some test recordings. It has been quite a while though since I have properly played a Bayonetta game, so I will be a bit rusty. Oh boy, he can attack through which time? That's not good. No one's meant to be able to attack through witch time. I'm not done yet. Oh yeah, I've played one and two a bunch, like multiple playthroughs on different consoles. Absolutely love them. I was hoping to have this one for uh, Halloween, but it hadn't. It we hadn't finished uh, Pokemon yet. Hey, Nelly, you're not looking so good. I just don't want to help me out just yet. Is there a problem? Can't even I shoot a gun. Who decides what the truth will be? <laughs> And this is about where I got up to during my test recording last night. Oh, so that's not our bane. Okay. Go. No! Oh yeah, I've got Violet uh, on order. I'll play it eventually. Probably not day one though, just because we just did a Pokemon game. But it'll definitely be on the list.
Come on, Vihar. You're meant to be running away right now. Yeah, I've never been one to get both versions just because it would take me long enough to get through one of them, let alone get through the other one. Especially if I was going for the collect more approach. Chapter select. Prologue. A chaotic encounter. Oh, okay, so we're throwing dust to select our level. Interesting. They always do something special here. I have changed my setup a bit, especially with my camera, so I'm hoping the green screen stays alright. And that the lighting ain't too bad. Platinum Games. Team Little Angels. There ain't nothing in Joe's Cabinet. Someone help me. Before it's too late. Hey, Bear. You're dressed nicely today. Very unsuited for combat. Enzo, having troubles as usual. Enzo, what was the weather forecast for today? What's the matter, your glass is dirty? Not a cloud in the sky. Perfect day for a ball game. You know what that means, right? It means you found a way to drag me all over the city and turn my opening day ticket into toilet paper! Enzo seems Don't to have gotten a bit bigger. Talking, huh? Huh? You know how much shit I had to go through for this thing? Oh! Ah! <sighs> oh! Shit! Jesus! You have my deepest sympathies. But don't forget, it was you who agreed to do anything I asked in exchange for that job. Just because I said anything now, doesn't mean. Let's be off. Now, where do you want to go? I've been driving around this city since the crack of dawn. <sighs> Like, body positivity and all that, but Enzo feels like he's put on a lot of body mass. I don't know if it's just muscle or weight or what. Less hot air, more gas. Also, wow, that is a very wide car. Why is the car that wide? Storm's coming. And I forget his name. Lousy bums. Everybody's getting screwed today. Me playing chauffeur because you got to meet someone. So where are they? First the park, then the grocery store, and now you're saying you want to try the pier. 
Hey, you even know where this mystery guest of yours is? What the holy shit! The hell you do that for? Hey! Hello? Please, someone help me. Before it's too late. Hey, what is it? Don't tell me you got the date wrong or something. No, it's today. And it's here. What? Enzo, what the you hell? wait right here. Oh. Got it? Right here. Don't move oh, one hey. inch. Jeez. Uh, All right. Hey, hey. How long do you expect me to sit here for, huh? And what am I supposed to do? I feel like... I could have just gotten on one of her uh, air dragons and flown around the city if she wanted to. That would be giving herself away. And just like that, she's high society, and no one recognizes that she stole a uh, banner. <sighs> Damn it! I know it's the same shit with her every time, but she still gets me by the short and curlies. <sighs> huh? Rain. Where'd all these clouds come from? The hell is that? Not again! That is your car about to get destroyed again. I just means more holy bullshit! What the- Oh, your car survived. That's surprising. Who the- Where the hell did she come from? You know, this kid looks kind of familiar. Whoa! Hey! Please, take me to her. Do I look like a damn taxi driver? You mean you? Oh, oh, her, oh. Bayo. Whoa. A... Oh, yeah, this? Oh, this? This is just what I needed. And so, you have a wife. and kids. And which time? The hell is that? Hey, you got the wrong idea. She just fell out of the damn sky. I got nothing to do with this kid. I swear, I just... Okay, there goes his car. Just like normal. Animals! What's wrong with you? I can't even turn the wipers on for God's sakes! I'm being fucking leaveable! Come on, baby! Just fucking back over the bridge! Ooh. Poor Enzo. He always gets screwed over. No time. Get lost, Enzo. Can't have you die before I get my dough. Good outfit you got there, mate. New 
town, huh? And here's a friendly hello. Yeah, okay. You're a badass, we know this. Definitely not a regular. No need to show off. I do hope you haven't forgotten my order. It's in the truck. Ready to go. They're riding a cruise ship through the city as they're opening. My god. Stratus, Light Humanoid Generic Module. God, they're good at making these scenes fun. So, uh, hmm. Not appropriate for kids, folks. Platinum Games really knows how to uh, make a showy fan service event. start to get good again. have any of my abilities which is unfortunate more cheap toys just casually flooding New York at the start of the game nothing weird I really don't Too hot in the kitchen? 
Just give me my order before I lose my cool. Yeah. Order up. Some pretty new guys. Three barrels this time. Because they need three, right. Hey there, Madam Butterfly. Focus, heavy humanoid combat unit. Yeah, let's see how I do. I think. Then perhaps a bit of fancy dress is in order. So that's a new way of doing numbers. As is that. I'm not gonna lie, leave my bad luck miss in their way. It breaks down whatever it touches, even Bane and. Go through that tutorial. And now we have sharks. Ooh, didn't quite make it all the way. No, silver, not bad for my first run back into it. Be a homunculus being created from all the humans that just got killed. Big one too. It's a cumul cumulonimbus, heavy humanoid decisively. And it has laser hands. Oh goody. Oh, my God. 
climax. It's part of any Bayonetta game. What are they going to do for us this time? Lamora! Welcome back, Headhunter. You didn't miss too much, but you're just in time for Gamora, our first summit. Our first climax. But apparently, Gamora doesn't want to deal with uh, Big Beastie. Which is very unfair. That thing ain't from Paradiso. No sanctified seasoning means no deal. Better think fast, Bayonetta. Uh, storms are not worse than I thought. Now we're doing some interesting dance moves to classical dance music. Ah, I'm taking direct control of Gilmore. Now it's Battle of the Titans. Summoning and stopping. Hold ZL to summon and control Inferno Demons. And release ZL to stop summoning. Summoning drains magic power. Inferno Demons can be summoned again once set of magic is recovered. Move summoned and found demons through L, banning itself will be unable to move through wave on enemies. Attack with the face buttons. Press that R to return the infernal demon instantly with some exceptions for certain stats. See how this will be useful. Just what I read before. Okay, what do I need to do to get out of this tutorial? I'm dumb. I didn't notice the big thing that said end tutorial on it. Naughty. 
Oh, that's not good to hear you got pain, but I'm glad the stream's up. That's not a very nice combo. Ah, uh, okay, so this guy had two health parts, that's what was going Let's try another climax, see if it works this time. There we go, max bonus. Silver again. Too much damage taken. That's okay. I don't expect to get too much better than silver or gold for most of this. I'm going to have fun doing it. Okay. Not a good sign. I am a little worried about Viola and Enzo who got swept away by the water, presumably. Hey, I have neither heaven nor earth. More specifically, they're homunculi. <laughs> we just added shield magic to it, I'm guessing. Oh, hey, Jean, John. You've got a few tails there. The white witch is back. There goes the chip that we were just on. Jean. We'll catch up later. Oh, okay. A demon here. He has clearly been summoned. Who else could possibly have? Perhaps our new friends can tell us if they need to. Climax. Ah, 
nice, nice number. Two uh, Madam Butterfly summons for that. Oh, it's not over. See you, John. Ooh, Kraken. Desperate of the cellar more. Hey there, big beastie. And there goes John into the gulf. What a time that Alan. There we go. Oh nice, we just washed a rock there. Okay. It's not dead though, it had one bit of health. Left. Oops, dodged too soon. Summon the crack. Who are we summoning this time? Oh, it's Madame Butterfly. Mistress of Atrocity, Madame Butterfly. Hey there, John. John. Hey, gold medal. Nice. I'm improving. We're in a one underwater baddie and we just have another. Playing 
the Good Samaritan, Rodan. Virgin. We gotta talk. Preferably someplace a little quieter. Very long time. Silver reward. I'm pretty happy with that plus start. Seven minutes, thirty-eight seconds of clear time, but it's actually more like thirty minutes because of cutscenes and such. That doesn't count. Let's see. Oh, there's rankings online. Let's just say. Okay, no store yet. Chapter one: Scrambling for answers. Oh, we're back in Rodan's bar. Well, at least Sean's back awake and she got a crack back. First time she's tied, pal. He still hasn't paid that tab. We'll be cool down here for a little while. A very little while. A little terrifying that, uh. You mean those weren't your playmates? Not my type. Although I did try shaking hands. Those things ain't from Paradiso. Or Inferno. They're locals. In other words, they're part human. Human? They're homunculi. Man made bioweapons. How about you tell us who you are first, Miss? Viola. Bayonetta, I'm... Uh, never mind. Look, we don't have time. If we don't stop them, this world is history. And reality as we know it gets wiped out for good. And so you just led them right to us. <laughs> no! They're like locusts spreading through the multiverse. Destroying it as they go! Just trust me, damn it! We've got to hurry! Bayonetta! Jean! Bayonetta's not really the trusted soul. Why do you know our names? And who the hell taught you that bit of magic? Well... In the world I'm from... We've already met. A world like this one, in another part of the multiverse. But it's gone now. Along with like you, the... and you. Probably just and relying on the MCU else. making multiverse a common term. The homunculi are tearing through the multiverse. And there's only a few worlds left. Multiverse? On the off chance you're not insane, what do they want? Hold up. This could be serious. If what you're saying is true, 
And this ain't just a human problem. Within the trinity of realities, the world of chaos is actually made up of uh, countless universes, all stacked up together. That's the multiverse. If someone's wiping those universes out, one by one, no, wiping out doesn't quite explain it. They're breaking the multiverse down, trying to fuse it together. Like running thinly sliced Wagyu beef through a grinder to make a big old juicy burger. And if they can pull it off, what are you, mate? They'll get their hands on enough power to wipe out the whole trinity in a snap. Thank you, Professor. She so offered Bayonetta a drink, but not for you all who are shown. And what do you expect us to do? Right. Little bayonet on the counter. There are two things we have to do. Jean, I want you to find a scientist named Sigurd. He's somewhere in this world, and he can help us. And Bayonetta, I want you to come with me to help find more of these. This is a chaos gear, the key to beating singularity. And the only one who knows how to use them is Dr. Sigurd. Without both of them, we can kiss this world goodbye. Meanwhile, Bane is playing with the doll of herself. Well, since solitaire in a literal man cave isn't exactly riveting, I suppose I'll be your chaperone. That's why I don't want a big plush of that guy behind him. We'll have a bit of girl talk along the way. Okay. So anyway, Viola. You gonna introduce me to this thing or what? Cheshire, the lost outcast. Say, considering uh, that there one is NPC a name is Singularity, he unraveled the secret of the multiverse before anyone else. Declaring his own world the Alphaverse, he began destroying the other layers of the multiverse one by one. There's only one way to stop him take the fight to him in the Alphaverse. We don't have a way to move freely through the multiverse. But there's one place that connects the whole thing. A legendary island created by the Umbra and the Lumen to study and reach out to the unknown. The secluded island of Thule. Are you sure your fantasy island is real? Believe and the path will open. Look, there it is. Oh, man, yeah, okay, I definitely want a mini of him. He's a cool looking dude. So yeah, considering the NPC from the first two games, a reporter that goes by the name Chesh as she calls Cheshire. Hmm. Someone seems very interested in our arrival. Is it him? Let's land fast. It's not safe. Hey, there he is. 
the other chest here. What's that? Hey, boom, light range support. We do. Combo was good, but no damage and time was silver. That's not bad. Okay, so there's going to be a bit of downtime between the verses in this game. got to explore because in the previous games there was all sorts of little portals around that would lead you to interesting places. You're seeing that off in the distance too, right? Yeah, pretty sure those are other worlds in the multiverse. I bet the people who built this place used to watch over different worlds the same way. Okay, there is definitely a bit of exploration. Just not what I was expecting. What's this? That is apparently something important. and magic. It seems we really do share a past with this island. It's about time I got moving again. Go. 
Nice, we got some halos. Lollipop in it. Nice. I see that in here. Looks like I cannot proceed that way. Let's check over here then. I didn't toss them. Focus times two. Limited time, undying enemies. Okay. Gotta hold it. Okay. So, this is one of those portals I was talking about. A loss. It was a very quick loss too. Right. Okay. So it definitely wants us to use our Gamora. There we go. Okay. I get it. Gold medal. And we get ourselves a piece of an umber heart. Like all of them, like four of them, and we get a life up. Those actually are, but I'll take these are all currencies of some kind. Hmm, that looks suspicious, doesn't it? I 
Don't know what that was. I am missing my Umbran Tears. Butcher's Recipes. Okay, so that's all the normal stuff that's back. Can't make anything right now. I assume what I got there was... Okay, so those will be for Rodent to trade. Halos are for Rodent to trade. Not sure the orbs are for. Mandragora, it's normal. Normal. Having four will restore a witch heart. Gives us extra. Ah. We still have the uh, super mirror. Almost done going through these. There we go. Okay. So I can't change my appearance right now. That's okay. Eventually, I'll get to see what's in the Kachura this time. Incredible. What's this one gonna be? It feels like being bathed in moonlight. Ooh. A fountain of magic energy. I'm starting to like it here. That is nice. Nice try, man. I feel like I missed first. No, oh, I got verse two. Okay. Right, verse two was that one. Yep. A giant floating key. I wonder what this is for. Other than cosplaying to be Sora. Summon barriers. Can't be summoned in spaces that are too cramped or narrow. Ah, okay. Yep. Makes sense. A dead end? What's this weird ass wall? Just needs the right touch. Any true Umbra witch knows that. This trip has been full of surprises, hasn't it? What is, is Cheshire this after? A multiverse portal generator? Bayonetta, wait, it might be a bad idea to mess with that. 
Nah, we're good. We got this magic key on our back. We fine. What could possibly go wrong? Too late for regrets now, I'm afraid. Bayonetta! Separate vacations for now, then. Good luck. And then we The other action too. We have to three infernal demons and switch between them instantly during battle. Up, left, or right to switch between them. Equip them on the demon sub tab. So got a fist chain, a foot chain, ranged, and a grab net. Okay. Even Infernal Demons can take out by relentless attacks. I'll be summoned again until they recover. damage but bronze everything else. Yeesh. It's about time I got moving again. I don't it's about actually time want I got that. I just again. needed to know which way was the correct way. Because I got turned around and Considering how many of these we're collecting, I'm concerned about what the prices are going to be for things compared to the halos, which we have not really gotten any of. And now we're on a Splatoon train. Doors are about to close. Oh, we're in Tokyo. Bit of a jump from uh, New York. Please change here for the Shonan Shinjuku Line, the Saikyo Line, and the Tokyo Line. 
Ah non. Voilà. Ooh, that's a big boy. You're a guessing. Mega Aerial Raider. That sounds a little terrifying. We will be changing to another track. If you are standing, please hold on to a hand strap or a rail. Yeah, definitely that's gonna happen. Okay, come on, that's cool. Gamora is such a good puppy. That's not fair, I got hit while I couldn't see what it's firing. Oh. Back into the skating adventure we go. Yeah, this is totally normal. Nothing out of the ordinary here. I don't know how I'm meant to avoid most of this. Okay, now we're just, yeah. God. Yeah, I don't know how I'm meant to avoid any of that. Unleash it. No. Didn't see it in time. Didn't quite get the 2500. Platinum combo, first time platinum damage should too much. Oh! Oh, just sacrificing your demon. Got it. Not very nice of you, Fainetta. But to be fair, that thing is massive. Could that be a chaos gear? Greedy little thing. Perhaps it's time for a crash diet. Ah, oh, Fainetta. Check here, Shibuya. The rise on two unknowns in pursuit of the target. Unknowns don't appear to be civilians, also got reports of a large creature. Where'd you go? Ah, went here. This is an Umbra Tear. Got it. Settle down now, little one. And this we'll see. 
These beautiful jewels are said to be the crystallized blood of persecuted umbra witches. These jewels are guarded and kept from human hands by umbra and familiars, black cats, crows, and toads. One of each familiar can be found in every chapter. It's said that finding them will open a new path. So that's why it, we thought it was an astral chain, because this world is actually the astral chain world. Interesting. So for those who don't know, astral chain was a new IP that Platinum Games tried to get going, and it was actually a really fun game. But yeah, it didn't get as much of a reception as they would have liked. And that uh, little dog there is the mascot of the actual chain series. Undying time, and I need to blow kisses. There we go. Quick and easy win. Gold medal because I could not get a good combo in there. That's uh, annoying. I wonder what I was meant to do to actually get the combo up. Was I meant to attack them for a bit before doing that maybe? So that was a moon pearl. Oh, half a moon pearl. Like two moon pearls and your magic meter gets bigger. Think you've got a chance. Can't go that way because Tori pushed me this way. Yeah, that's probably not going to have much effect. That might. But probably not as much as you were hoping. Look out behind you! Love heart on Does anyone back. mind if I cut in? Wouldn't want to step on anyone's toes. <laughs> Don't worry, I know this song by heart. Nope. 
Okay, what's going on with the shield? Ah, that all. Oh, Gamora, right then. These poor soldiers must be so damn confused. How dare you take damage? Cause me damage. So even though those don't look like that hit, they will actually still hit. Good to know. And that's a bow. There we go. Yeah, I did take a lot of damage there. And just a slight memory. Interesting choice. We awaken the defeated homunculus to control the flow of time in the area. Advance or reverse time to change the surroundings. Find the right point in time to discover new paths. Keep in mind that the temporal field is a time limit and Bayonetta will be trapped in a younger form. Let's see what time has to teach. Okay, that didn't work out. Hey Ty, welcome to the fun. That should be better. As usual with Bayonetta games, shit's got weird. Hey, got the book. And let's get out of here before this returns. There we go. How was soccer, Ty? Uh, yeah, soccer. You play too many sports, it's hard to keep track of what's what. Hey, course, hey, course. Come in, this is Namigumo. They're pinned down in the sewers with several wounded. We need some help here, ASAP. I don't know if that's the sewers. But also there doesn't appear to be another way forward. Oh, 
But I was right to go up there. Not enough to make anything. Oh boy. Yes, I saw you there. Archer, because he's a pain in the arms. Way too much health for uh, normal mode. Can you imagine if I was doing this on hard mode? I would be absolutely dying. Also, shit. Okay. I missed a verse somewhere. Where did I miss a verse? Like there was much place to lose it, or to miss it. Give me that moon juice, please. Have you uh, played Astral Chain, Ty? Because this particular world... Oh yeah, by the way, uh, Bayonetta 3 went multiverse. That's the mascot from Astral Chain. Suggesting that this is the world of Astral Chain. Where is this verse that I missed? Surely it wasn't something of this again. missing verses. I guess I'll have to come back later. Yeah, because that's locked tight. You can't go anywhere around here. It's up here, isn't it? That's a long part.
Ooh, almost didn't get it. But we got there. That's what matters. And I got healing items, which is even more important. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure where the verse I missed is. I guess I'll just have to keep going. Before you could hide something back here, didn't you, Platinum? Sorry, but no. What did I get? Magic restorers. Nice. Okay, world's falling apart. And that looks like a Hellgate. Didn't be confused for them. Must be off your game. Never been more on. Well, all right. Thing is, with all this mess going on, Halos are hard to come by. But chaotic economics has its own unique jobs. And you'd like me to help you diversify. <laughs> Sharp as ever, Bayonetta. How did you travel across the world, Rodan? The readers would like to know. The gates of hell. Finally back. Oh, you're spawning it in the overworld. Okay. You can expect a fair rate for these now too. Of course, I'll gladly accept any halos you bring in. Might even have something special for you. Start off with the treasures. They send violas room. Mm. Costumes. Items. Lollipops don't interest me. Well, they do, but not for those prices right now. Hundred thousand. Sure. Let's grab a gaze of despair. Anything I can spend the uh, spells on? No. Okay. I was hoping for weapons. Forgot to give you this. Saw that demon slave and figured oh, you could okay. Have Take special care of my baby. That is certainly a weapon. Uh, yep. 
G-Pillar, a giant club containing anti-material rifle. It's cumbersome but powerful, both close and long range. Hold B in mid-air to charge and release energy for an additional aerial boost. Okay. Justice and iridescence. As your fingers make contact, your head fills with memories of someone else, playing back as a series of images. A lone witch stands in alley, arms crossed, as she periodically looks out of the street. Takes a glance at her watch and smirks. This is the day we set things straight. I'll teach that annoying witch who really controls the streets of Shibuya. First that hundred song karaoke battle, then the sushi eating contest. Oh, and how could I forget the scramble crosswalk foot race? Somehow they all ended in a draw, but today I'm going to pull out front and win. After all, today's contest is bowling. She must not know they call me the split queen of Sasazuka. She's only herself to blame for choosing a bowl off on a gorgeous day like this. Hmm, she's unfashionably late. That's not like her at all. If anything, she's usually annoyingly punctual for these little spats. Just then, a roaring din fills the air as an avalanche of rubble falls. In the next instant, the rubble begins to move in slow motion. As a sensation all too familiar to an umber witch begins to take over, the images fade from your mind. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hmm. I'm going to enjoy trying out uh, this weapon. Climax 3D Collection A box containing a palm-sized figure. They are apparently being sold throughout Inferno, but for some reason almost exclusively contain figures of people close to Bayonetta. Broken Moon Pearl. Mega Magic Purple Lollipop. Shadow Cat. G Pillar. Days of Despair. Purple Butterfly. Faith Kick. Okay. Really? There's more? Ah. Is that everything? Yes. Okay. Okay, I like. I like very much. Let's see, even though I don't have anything to afford it now. Oh, that's just the uh, save button. Okay. Rodin's treasure. No. So just the same set. Okay. So no, I can't buy any weapons at the moment. I'm guessing they will be all story locked and I'll get them as I go. Okay, that's cool. This is just a low damage one. Don't get hit. Limited time. 
six Stratus, two Flocus, and two Cavern. And they have three hits. I am like So these guys are getting annoying. Die, please. There we go. We win. Silver, platinum on the time, and bronze on the damage. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, I suppose we can go help the guy that was asking for help. Or we can go this way just to see what's over here. Nothing. Okay. You saved us, but uh, just who are you? Well, I'm a witch. This is my demon club. Nice to meet ya. Okay, that's... That's nice. That is a lot more powerful than my regular guns for range. I got a pure platinum, holy shit. I didn't expect to get one of those tonight. I definitely... well, let me rephrase. I didn't expect to get one of those ever, let alone tonight. This is HQ. We got reports of a unit engaged with hostilities in the sewer. Nearby units, move in and assist immediately. Well, that's not very nice. I can't get back up there. At least as far as I know. going to be getting this number tier, so apologies, it's going to get a little bit repetitive pretty fast. Got it. Trying to lead me on? I missed the middle one. Of course I did.
So what does that mean? That means... I got the bird and the cat. I didn't get the frog. Okay. And let's... Heal up. Ultra attacks. Oh, finally. One of the funnest parts of Bayonetta. Stun enemies with infernal demon attacks or break their armor for a torture attack chance. Press X and A when the prompt appears to summon a tailor made torture device to deal additional damage. I like this weapon a lot. I really like this weapon a lot. Another pure platinum, holy shit. Are you moon magic? I'm guessing you're moon magic. No, you're a chest with a lollipop. Nice. Except for the one I just used. Knew it. Always a secret. You studying hard for your exams, Ty? You better be. A giant airborne object over Shinjuku, headed northeast. Storyers. Storyers for Arachne's Net, a shadowy members only delivery service. Goes in all kinds of goods, legal and otherwise. If you see them out with their deliveries, attack them to sign for their items. Unlocking Umber and Power! On the skill tabs of the sub screen, you can increase maximum vitality and magic and unlock special skills. Increase your vitality using witch hearts, magic by using moon pearls, special items. Orbs are from battle are used to unlock skills. Each skill requires a certain amount of orbs to unlock. Burn orbs by doing things like performing big combos and breaking enemy armor with infernal demon attack. Do I actually have enough for a witch's heart already? Damn. Wait, what the hell? The ward off has just disappeared. This is crazy. Headquarters, advise on next move. Over. Let's see if we can upgrade anything else right now. Ah, so that's what those skulls are used for. Interesting. Nice. That's a good one to have. Charge forward quickly. Nice. It'd be nice if it gave me some hints as to what I need to actually unlock things. That's okay. Obviously we're not going to be able to get everything right now, but... Oh, 
Okay, so I need to actually unlock these individually on each of them. Okay. Good to know. Mysterious flyer. Seems to be a colourful flyer advertising something. If you're holding this flyer, we've got good news. It means that even though you're human, you've earned a chance to become a member of Arachne's nest. A net. Just what is Arachne's net, you say? It's only fair that a human like yourself may have doubts. May even be muttering them right now. Well, let us just... Just let us explain as politely as you please. Arachne's net is an impossibly, extremely, supernaturally convenient online store. It delivers anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. In rain of shine and a hail of arrows of bullets. We'll deliver anything you can think of and everything you can't. Sourced from the four corners of existence and delivered in an instant. Join now and you'll get a year with no membership fees or additional fees on lifespan processing. Just scan the magic glyph to apply. Please note this flyer is only effective for the next 24 hours. Any attempts to apply afterwards may result in interrupted existence. We look forward to doing business with you. Okay. Unbring skills, Arachne's net. Advanced Bayo. Dodge offset. Unlock the skill and keep a combat going after dodging by holding an attack button while pressing ZR to dodge. Flush Slave, ZL and X or A to make an infernal demon attack at the same time as summoned. Point enemies would down to anger them. Okay. Raising the attack power and stag resistance will also increase the combat points earned. And during which time as well, infernal demons move more quickly. All the usual stuff. And we got a full witch heart. And we got a midnight. Okay. Let's continue. There's a big beast in. It is. Anis, light flotation combat. That's a new one. Who are you summoning? Madame or Butterfly? And they can split. Don't care much for your techniques. Why don't I try a more attentive approach? My turn. Okay, so. Maybe this uh, artifact was a bad idea. Yep. First death. Okay. Come on, I dodged that.
There we go, that's doing a lot better. Cleared it, but that is going to be a pretty poor showing. Oh, no, never mind. Gold. Okay. Is that a John? This is indeed an A John. Hey, there we go. We finished chapter one. <laughs> and I got a gold award for it. Nice. Money talks opportunity knocks. Better open up the headquarters. In my line of business, times like this turn cash flow into a flood. Open up the case of hell with minus. And yep. Train. Yep. The gallery where you can view art and listen to music is now open. You got special items as you play to add content. You can go to the gallery by pressing the plus on the chapter select screen, choosing it from the menu. New product available. Bayonetta, phenomena, save data found. Signature handgun Scarborough Fair will be added to the shop. Bayonetta 2 Phenomena, save data found. Signature handguns Love is Blue have been added to the shop. Okay, let's check out the shop. Let's get down to business. Just straight up buy moon pearls and witches hearts now, but I don't have enough yet. It's not accessories. Where then, Rodan? Are these guns that I was promised? Don't hold out on me, Rodan. Okay. So, it's probably going to be a little bit shorter stream than usual because I definitely do not have time by my normal stream time to do chapter 2. So let's have a look through the gallery before we finish off. Okay, so these are the 3D models. We have Rodan here. Interesting. A very slow spin, but and we got Madame no we got Gamora. He is a ferocious looking beast here, ain't he? And concept art? A lot of this is probably what's in the art book that I got with the Clex edition. Bayonetta designs. Bayonetta's guns. Bayonetta's casual clothes and fine evening wear. Viola. The all those shirt designs. Mm 
Madame Butterfly. The new weapons. Ooh, that does look cool, doesn't it, when they open up like that? And new enemies. The homunculus. And finally, environments. The cruise ship. And the bakery where you start off. Nice. Okay. So, as I said, short stream tonight. Sorry about that. We may do longer ones, may do shorter ones with this game. We'll see how long chapters take, but chapters being as long as they are, we'll see what happens. Thank you for those who showed up tonight. I appreciate it. It's good to have people here for the start of a brand new series. I will be back with more Bayonetta on Wednesday night, and tomorrow night we'll be back to Assassin's Creed Rogue. So thank you all for coming tonight, and for now, ta-ta.